Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Rarquaza, and this is Quaza Contemplates Nero Voider. Uh, this game came out a while ago. Uh, it is on Steam. Someone bought it for me. On sale. I'm gonna do a new game. Uh, we're gonna do the standard difficulty. I'm gonna be this thing. I guess there's local co-op. Uh, Nero Voider is pretty cool. Uh, there are three classes. The ba here's the base. I have played this uh, a little bit on stream, and uh, it's it's a good Mundailies game, I think, but uh, it does suffer from some issues. The here's a let me let me just go over what's going on here. So we got three classes. You got dash, with, which gets a dash. Dash is through bullets without taking damage. It's a movement ability. Uh, rampage. Uh, allows you to so you get two weapons. The, this class allows you to fire both of your weapons simultaneously, and um, this one you stop shooting and get an in invincibility shield. Uh, other than the the ability, the stats are also um, affected by which class you pick. I think dash is the most useful ability. And then uh, you, you're there's like a bunch of choices. Uh, for possible, like, perks. And it's a little bit overwhelming. When I first launched the game, I was like, oh man, there's so many freaking things here. But uh, you'll notice that a lot of these have, like, a recharge cost, which makes them basically useless uh, to me. Because I don't want to spend resources on, on an ability when I could pick a passive. Is the closest ally. Reactors are visible on the level map. Generate more scrap. Um, avoid death once per level. Now it seems okay. I actually... For the purposes of... You know, I don't think that's a good idea. I think we should grab... What I've been grabbing is classy loot. All looted items are of your current class. Because you can get things for other classes. And you can even... Um, equip them, but then you'll be turned into that class. So we'll just we'll just be a dash guy. So uh, the gameplay loop is you go into a stage. You choose which stage you want. Uh, you go into it, and then you kill all the dudes in it. You kill the generators, and then you exit. And there's a boss every couple stages, and sometimes there's special levels. Uh, I really, really like the art style in this game. It's pretty sweet. I really, really like the soundtrack in the game. It's pretty sweet. Uh, we start off... Oops. Uh, that's a barrel. Start off, um, you'll notice I have HP and energy points. Uh, Different weapons cost different amount, different amounts of energy points, and uh, we'll be collecting, killing dudes and collecting scrap as we go. Um, game starts out very easy. Our goal is to destroy these things. That's the main objective of every level, and uh, killing these enemies is the main objective. All of these, the other objective, and this is the entire. That's the entire gameplay. Move. Now, um, oh, I'm gonna, gonna die. Wow. Don't get hit by barrels. I should be dashing more. Music is so jamming, actually. Please don't explode. That enemy dropped. So you notice enemies dropping scrap and then also uh, additional weapons that we can later equip after the stage is over. Music is really good. That was a very short level. You'll notice we repair a little bit in between each stage, not to full. Uh, so now we get to... After you beat a level, you get to examine all of the parts that you got during the last level. Um, the main thing is just, you know, equipping upgrades. There's no... We have uh, different... These different parts do different things. Uh, this one only affects your energy... Uh, the visor affects your energy, the core affects your HP and energy point maximum, plus uh, your energy point regen per second, which is very important because uh, 
different guns allow you to or drain more energy, right? Um, you could see the damage comparison. You can also see what they look like when they shoot and how they affect your current energy reserves and regen. Um, there's a ton of different weapons, and this is one of the, I guess, draws to this game is the different types of weapons. Ah, I like rocket launchers. So we're going to equip that on my left gun. Uh, this is a grenade launcher. Not super interested in that. We'll keep melee on our right. Uh, you can spend scrap to forge weapons uh, or, you know, other parts or whatever. You can also salvage... Um, you can scrap old items uh, for, more, for more scrap that you can spend on different things. You can also repair. And then uh, you just, you know, you do that, and then you fight the next mission. And this is the game. Now, the enemies are randomly generated, or procedurally generated, right? Uh, maybe I should have come with a, another weapon as a secondary to kind of clean up. The graphics in this game, I really do like them. Oh, they have, so the enemies you'll see here have like, these ones have curvy, random rockets. Ooh, we got a orange visor. But, um, sometimes, you know, enemies will have a really annoying gun or something. Other than that, uh, the gameplay is fairly samey. It's a lot of, like, kiting backwards and, you know. But it does, it's not necessarily, like, not, it's not uninteresting. It's just, uh, after maybe an hour or two, uh, I definitely, it's not, this is not a game that I, I could see myself playing over and over. So I guess your your mileage may vary on the actual gameplay of this game is what I'm trying to get at. But the music, <laughs> the music and the graphics are great. Um, I just wish there were a little bit more variety in the gameplay. I, this is, as I said, like a great Mondays game. I try and pick. I find myself picking the shortest stage almost exclusively. Just because um, the uh, it, it means that I get through the game faster, which is not something that I, you want to be doing in a game. Is uh, ooh sumptuous bio rainfall of dirty refactory. Try that. Put that on my right gun. Not using my melee thing. Uh, electric gun. Oh my goodness. A spiral or a, just a Nova of missiles. Probably skip out on that one. I think we're just ready. Ah, so we, this is a special one. Super Elites Everywhere. Oh no. We didn't actually equip our Super Goo Gun or whatever. Super Elites. Oh. As you can see, are these red things. Big red guys. But depending on the uh, the guns that they're generated with, they can be very easy to take care of. So this is that, that gun. I don't... That's the uh, Bio Barrage or whatever. It reminds me of the, the gun from Smash TV. That guy was a melee. Fat 
That shotgun is the name of that item that we just picked up. Yeah, most of these enemies are just, you know, run backwards to avoid their shots. Oh, okay, some of them shoot more annoying shots. Oh no, out of energy. As long as we don't bite off more than we can chew here. Multiple enemies. I think we're actually just very fine. This is why I like dash. It allows you to quickly reposition. The other classes are like... Like, there's no... Well, okay, there is one place where you need... There are bosses in this game. Um, I have only gotten to the second boss. But... Uh, all the, the two bosses that you fight are the same basic concept. They're just... They also appear to be procedurally generated uh, with regards to what weapons they have. Which uh, is... It makes it a little bit interesting. The bosses are difficult, though. Which is... That's to their credit. Okay, how much regen? 62 up from 56. That's a pretty big increase. Um, we want the highest energy regen that I can so that I can equip the biggest gun that I can and not worry about much. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how... What do we got? Here, hold on. There's a new, new rocket launchers available. See, I, these, these rocket launchers have they're very large rockets, but they also are not accurate, which is a kind of a big problem. This looks like just a straight upgrade from ours. It does more damage at the cost of more energy points. Let's see what we can get on our right click. Prophetic Light Wrath of Mortal Lubrication. That seems good. Let's try that. If this big, bad, fat shotgun of Mortal Obliteration doesn't See, that also looks good. Got a rail gun. It does more damage. I want to try this, uh, this thing. So, smallest size, most loot. Oh, this thing's like really long range. Oh my lord. It's also very good. Long range, man. I do have to be a little careful with my energy consumption. And I gotta stop taking missiles to the face. Now, coming up, we have the boss. We just want the highest HP for this. Let 
most energy regen. And then the legs, we want a mix of stats, because overheat is good, and speed is good. But maybe, uh, that's... I don't know if 10% speed is worth this much HP. Let's see if we can get a... Gun that isn't bad. Ah, uh, see, I... I feel like those are not as good. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. What if we grab... This. Now I have a slightly upgraded rocket launcher. And then also the electric gun. can also upgrade weapons with scrap. So this, this is the boss. We just need to watch our overheat. So the boss has a weak, spo weak spot. You can see the health bar down at the bottom. To hit the weak spot to deplete the shields. And then once you've done that, you shoot it in the body. Pretty straightforward. There's also other stuff going on in here, like enemies spawning. There's some other gun shooty bits. Sometimes those gun shooty bits down there are the weak spot. Very easy boss. I think uh, this electric gun was a very good pickup for us. Gotta go through and upgrade again. So at this point, you can pretty much see this is the rest of the game. That's There's nothing else hidden, I don't think. This is pretty much it. Other than different randomly generated weapons happening with some stat increases. Uh, size really small. Lots of loot. Look at that. And the soundtrack is actually amazing. a really good lightning gun. The range on this thing is so good. I've never used a gun like this one. I hope we can find upgrades to this in the future. The range is the range and damage. Two most important stats in this game for a gun are range, number one, because a lot of enemies don't have range. And then DPS for bosses. levels. Ah. Ferocious visor of father blobbing. Yes. Arc phaser of persisting rampage. Ah. Wow. 
in my experience, the beams are good, but they're also, like, about this long in the game. Pretty short range. I'm fine with our weapons. Actually, here. Let's... How much does this cost to boost? You can boost five times. Ah, it's very expensive. Okay, hold on, hold on. Scrap old items. Boost. No, no, no. Okay, we've increased the DPS of this by a significant amount. It should carry us, like... Pretty far now. Lots of elites, lots of loot, small size. Big levels are longer to complete but offer more opportunities to find items, that's true, I guess. Yes, please. Wow, that thing dumps energy. Let's just do this. Why not? Ah, super elites everywhere. Yes, please. So these levels, um, in my experience, oh my lord, unless there are super elites everywhere, it's like a swarm. Items. Also, our bio gun sucks. Oh, that's a really big rocket. But these guys are really just as long as I kill them from range. We're absolutely fine. Oh, no. And if they have shotguns, they just are dead. Going up sucks because the objective indicator is Oh, 
a lot of this is bad. But that's a straight upgrade. Core of voiding. Check out what we have. Gamma Holy Grenade of Swaggy Virtualization. That is a big grenade, but it also does deplete your entire energy. Seems okay. Not very accurate. The guns are kind of samey after a while, like, you'll notice themes. Actually, hold on, let's... In our left gun, let's go with one of these swords. 2790. These appear almost identical to me, so whatever. Uh... Oh, it's not the boss yet. Melee weapons seem to unnecessarily put you in harm's way. So. Oh my lord. There goes my health. I don't have a stop, drop, and roll button. Leg pistol. myself up on barrels. I don't like running out of, uh... Energy. Okay, second boss. Same as the first, except... A little bit different. Seems good. This seems real good. Let's see, randomly generated with flamethrowers. Oh 
Oh boy. It's gonna be a long one. I really don't like the guns these enemies have. Stop spawning more enemies. Kill these babies. Oh, they dropped health. Pick up the health. There's a lot of screen shake too. I can't, the options menu when you're in game is actually very bad. This is what you get, which is not that much. But I, I think you can turn down the screen shake, I just haven't done it. Okie dokie, one more round, probably. Might need to upgrade from our lightning gun. It just doesn't have the DPS that it used to. upgrade. That's what I like to see. Bio launcher. Plasma gun. Let's try a flamethrower out. This flamethrower is better. This grenade launcher is a grenade launcher. I think we're ready. Let us uh, reboot the RNG for free. Ah, Asher. I just wanna be done. <laughs> I feel like it's Questionable game design choices to have the. It just feels counterintuitive to let me reroll. I mean, I, I don't know. Oh, don't do that. That's that's nuts. I feel bad because this game has such a cool vibe going on, it's just the gameplay is a little dull, I think. And the soundtrack is so bumping. We 
been pretty lucky with enemy spawns. Um, I've had a run... I think my first run... Died to... It was a big old... It was a bunch of dudes. And every, every enemy on the level... It was one of those special levels. It was a swarm of dudes that all had, like, sniper rifles. And they did, like, a million damage. So very fast, difficult to dodge projectiles. I haven't seen any of those, luckily, yet. This is a better... Flamethrower. skip level. Achievement unlocked, gotta go fast. I don't see the point. <laughs> Why? In... Encouraging me to skip the stages. Flamethrower seems bad. Maybe not. I guess it applies a dot. I feel like the damage is something. The Flames of Judgment. Hey. That'll be good enough to replace our electric beam here. It's starting to starting to feel the damage. The enemy AI is also just very basic. It's like run at the player until you get close enough. And you just kind of stand there. It's just, it's something, I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. I can't do I've never made a game, but. It might even be one of those situations where I feel like the, proce the procedural generation is being leaned on too heavily. So yeah, sure, all of these enemies have, you know... Randomized... Or procedural guns and parts. But, uh... It just makes all the enemies feel the same. <laughs> in the end. Kinda. I think if you had kind of procedural enemies mixed in with, you know, base enemy types, you know, you throw, look, I'm gonna compare it to Risk of Rain, you throw some Lemurians in here, give a couple, uh, I don't know, got your Wisps that do similar things, but maybe they have slightly different changes, I don't know. But like, you know, I don't know. It's not the worst game that I've played. Uh, I have definitely... I enjoy this game much more than... Uh, there's, there's several games that I've, I've played recently that are roguelikes. Or 
procedurally generated uh, death labyrinths that are worse than this one, but... Oh my lord. Good thing these enemies do zero damage when they hit me. Like, or like maybe one, one or two damage each, each one of these shots. So if I stood in the middle of them for, you know, 12 seconds, I might, it might hurt. But I can kind of just strafe to avoid them. I'd say as I take a million hits. I think this flamethrower is bad. Sure, mowing through these boys. So many boys. Okay. Let's not go crazy. I kinda wish I had the missiles. Those are AoE. Just one reactor. I'm sure it's up here somewhere. Just gotta find it. Find it a little bit further up. See, okay, so the, the other time that I died, it was like this level, except instead of annoying red guys that shoot ineffectual barrages of machine gun fire, it was really tiny boys that shoot high damage, very high velocity sniper rifle shots. Oh my lord. They just don't stop. Might die yet. Death by a thousand cuts. Hold on, hit me with one. Hit me with one bullet. 228, hit me with a bullet. I didn't look at my health beforehand. 227. They literally do one damage each. Actually, one damage. I do need to get hit 200 more times. Although if we do have the boss after that, I don't know where we were on the boss thing. But I think my official recommendation to you is if you think this game is neat, get the soundtrack. <laughs> or at least wait for a sale. I'll play this on Mondays, as I said. I think this is an okay Mondays game. Every, you know, one run every once in a while. All right, one day we'll find the reactor, but it is not this day. My lord. Shows no signs of stopping. So I brought some corn for popping. Turn the lights way down low. Please 
Please God no, please God no, please God no. There's no react. Oh no. <laughs> My kingdom for an AoE weapon. these short levels and then oh wait you wanted a fancy level well here's the biggest level in the world populated with infinity enemies it really sucks that uh i also can't change my weapon so i guess that's how you you die in this game is you pick the wrong weapon going into the mission and then you immediately regret it but it's too late EXB missile. Oh, the reactor. It has been sighted. Thank God. Crap. Ooh. Damn. All right, let's see our upgrades. Scrap old items. Ah, yes. All upgrades. 85 is an upgrade. That's more HP. Oh my goodness. That's all upgrades. I'm into it. Okay, give me... Some sweet guns. The Flames of Judgment. Yes. That seems sweet. Look at the gun animation. <laughs> I do like that animation. Okay, let's put that on, on there. At fat Afterburner. That's just what we have. Whoa, that's cool. Very energy heavy, though. That is the same gun, but flipped. Mini nuke. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. Oh, that's also sweet. A double beam. Okay, hold on. Let me see... What are our current... 1,000 DPS. Okay, so that's what we're working with. 2,000 DPS. I like the mini nuke. Is that big shotgun of Uncle Breakfast? Thousand six hundred DPS. Ah, we could get a sword. Three thousand nine hundred seventy five. Let's do this. So, what's this do?
Uh, okay, hold on. I, I think we need... Instead of a sword, we should grab a ranged weapon. That is a very heavy... heat wave of cooking. Let's try the mini nuke. That has range. I'm ready. Oh, this has very good range, actually. This might be worth upgrading. Wow. This is a great gun, too. I wish I had this back for that last level. Oh my god, that's so good. The AoE on it is incredible. Yeah, that's really good. It even blows shit up through walls, which is amazing. It does allow me to, or not allow me to dash. I don't even have to hit them directly, I can just hit the wall next to them. Oh, those are the snipers. Except a hundred million babies. Alright. Yeah, this is the boss. All upgrades, I like it. Ooh. 89 to 97, that's a huge upgrade. Galactic Cross Missile. Is that more damage than our... It is! It's more DPS than our other one. 2004 versus 2,900. I guess the shot damage is different. That's if all the shots hit. That's why that's such a big number. One shot that does 3,000 damage versus if all four shots hit, then it's... Uh, f each shot is 500 damage. Yeah, okay. Not as good. Let's upgrade both of these, maybe, if we can. Or at least this rocket launcher. Oh, I need more scrap. S scrap old items. There we go. Now we have a bunch of scrap. <laughs> uh, boost. We might as well boost this, too. Oh, it's already fully boosted. All right, cool. Excellent. I'm ready. Let's fight the boss.
actually outrange this boss. We just have to watch out for ads. unlocked. If it bleeds, we can kill it. The spirit bomb. That was a great boss, because uh, it did not have any range. <laughs> Give me upgrades. Those are not upgrades. Not an upgrade. What do we get? Prophetic double bomb. Not as good as our thing. The saint bomb. That is already fully boosted as well. Okay, hold on. Let's compare the Saint Bomb. That is higher damage per second because it fires two shots that do 2,000 damage each. But it doesn't have the range. And it, yeah, I think we'll keep what we have. Super elites everywhere. Hell yeah, dude. The easiest mission type. I'll just slowly move up. Firing rockets. Oh, man. Okay, this is working out. are going well. Oh no. I can't dash because I'm out of energy. I'm rolling myself into a false sense of security. Call this weapon hubris. It does not go to my mouse cursor. No. Please. Upgrades. Overheat might be better than speed at this point. Manic phaser of dirty refactoring. Ah, hidden boom hammer of next gen blending type close range. That's what I'm talking about right there. 
Yeah. It's pretty sweet. I think we just keep our nuke. Boost our hidden boom hammer. 10k DPS. I can only fire it four times, but still. Can I just skip level? I do have three coins. Can I just skip the level again? Is that fine? How would you feel if I skipped this level? Final destination. No items. Fox only. This is it. You finally reached it, but I think it's really pissed off now. See you later. Actually, the easiest thing I've ever done. I didn't realize the bosses got easier as you went. This is the guy from the tutorial. Are you the secret boss? Ah, that's all I needed to relieve my stress. At long last, there are no human left, except you. Though you served my purpose well, there is no place for you in my world domination plan. Oh, and I am the master now. Oh, okay. This is not great. Ouch. Ouch. Hello, Al. Hello, Al. Hello, Al. Oh, I've done it. Achievement unlocked. Three achievements unlocked, including Speedrunner. No, my shiny body all scratched. Are you happy with that? I'm not. Come on, I'm stuck in this junk pile. Would you mind giving me a hand? Spare him for New Game Plus. No, thanks. Level complete. Game over. I've done it. GG. Proceed. That's that's Nero Voider. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe. Um, Twitch.tv slash Raquaza. The link to this game's Steam page is in the description. And I will see you next time. Take it easy. Goodbye.